Hello, and thank you for taking a few moments to take a look at Kipware M and our cutting edge 3D conversational menus. This is the main screen in Kipware M where you can select standard operations and use the fill in the blank forms, which is pretty much what we mean by conversational, to create powerful G code programs that can contain uh, cutter compensation and uh, roughing and finishing, all kinds of powerful features available in the conversational menus. But today we'd like to walk you through some of our 3D options. Now this is real cutting edge. There are no conversational programming packages on the market that can do 3D using a conversational or filling the blank screen. A couple of things that we can do are tapered cones. Uh, so if you have something that has a pin, tapered pin, uh, you can do it using a conversational fill in the blank screen. Uh, if you have a tapered hole, we can also do that with a conversational screen. Tapered bosses, rectangular or square, or we can reverse that and do tapered pockets, rectangular or square. We can also do curved surfaces, all again using a conversational fill in the blank form. We can do horizontal and vertical troughs. And uh, one of the things I'd like to point out is we can do this, most of the shapes, with either a square end mill or a ball end mill. So what we give you in this particular case, in the trough, is the ability to rough this trough shape with a square end mill, which is a lot quicker and a lot more efficient than doing it with a ball end mill, and then come back with a finishing cycle and use a ball end mill uh, to create a nice finish. We can also do a bowl. So if you need something that's uh, half of a circle, bowl shape, we can do that again with a conversational screen. And again, doing it with a square end mill or a ball end mill. But today we'd like to introduce you to two of our newest menus. Uh, these were requested by a customer of ours. And this is a male and female bending die. A lot of customers will be using a sheet metal to do some bending die creation. And with the conversational screen, you can create both the male side of the bending die and the female side of the bending die. Uh, we released the male bending die back in June and uh, today we're introducing the female side of the bending die. I've got a couple of programs that I created here. One is a rough and one is a finish. So if we take a look at this one, uh, we're going to do some rough milling, uh, conventional style, using a square end mill. Uh, we've described all of the cutting parameters here. So we've described uh, the radius of the cutter, the overlap, uh, the depth of cut, the angle of the die. Uh, the width of the die at the top and then the length of the die and the radius of the die at the bottom. So Kipware M is going to do all the calculations. Uh, basically all you need to tell it is the width and the angle, the radius at the bottom, and then the software will go through and do all the calculations as far as the tangency point is concerned uh, and all of the roughing uh, passes along the angle and then along the radius at the bottom just by using the fill in the blank form. So if we take a look at the finishing side, now we're going to come back and do a finishing end mill, which is a finishing with a conventional cutter using a ball end mill. And again, we've described the same parameters that we described uh, in the roughing uh, operation. One other thing to note is in most of the Kipware M menus, we have a rotation angle. Uh, so if this die was uh, set off at an angle for some odd reason, uh, basically just enter the angle here and then again Kipware M is going to do all the work, going to rotate everything uh, and give you this bending die shape uh, off at a particular angle. To create the program, uh, we come into our operation screen where we create the main program. We would tell it that we have operation number one and that we want to use tool number one and we want to use the female bending die as the, the program that we want to associate with tool number one. Uh, then tool number two uh, we can associate the female bending die, which would be our quarter inch ball end mill, uh, to come in and finish the die. Create the G code. I'm going to save this to my uh, temp folder. I'm going to save it as this die program. So we'll take a look at the toolpath in the simulation software. The uh, first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the a quarter inch end mill that's coming in and doing the roughing passes. Uh, now we've got 50,000 step downs in here. Uh, so you can see that the tool is automatically removing the center portion along uh, with coming down the angle tapered side. Now again, this was created all uh, with the conversational screen, uh, just conversational inputs, and we're creating all the G code to be able to machine the shape 
uh, through Kipware M just in the conversational screens. And again, this is cutting edge technology that uh, only Kipware M has 3D conversational uh, abilities to create 3D shapes. So we're going to look at this uh, till it's finished and then we're going to change to the quarter inch ball end mill and then we're going to come in and do the uh, finish along the contour. So you can see the roughing pass is, is machining everything out and the finishing pass is just going to come along um, down along the contour. And not to bore you with uh, the cuts because uh, 3D shapes do take a long time to do machining. Uh, this particular uh, shape is being done with, uh, I believe, a 2000s uh, step down in Z. So we're going to kind of go through the video a little bit quicker. And now we're about halfway through. And we should be getting to the transition point pretty soon where we're transitioning from the uh, 60 degree wall to the bottom radius. And as we get to the transition point, you can see that we've got material left at the bottom here. And that's because the software automatically determined a roughing end mill, how much it could go uh, as far as a width goes uh, before it would start hitting the sides of the radius part. So as the radius part comes in, uh, the software automatically determines uh, where that to quarter inch end mill, how deep it can go, and then leaves the material there for the finish cut. And there's ways that you can come in and you could uh, semi-rough the bottom with a ball end mill so that you could get it a little bit closer uh, before you come in with the finish cut. In this case, just to speed things up, we're coming in uh, completely with the ball end mill at the bottom to finish up the, uh, the radius. And we're just about done. So let's take a uh, take a look, rotate it around, and you can see that we have uh, our complete bending die shape for the female side completely done. Again, all done with a conversational screen, uh, all the tangency points and all the uh, points for the end mill to come around, all done uh, completely by the software. So let's look at Kipware M 3D options. Uh, we hope that you take a look at Kipware M through the many videos that we have on our YouTube channel or on the website uh, kentechinc.com. Thank you.